Over the last four or five years, we've uh, experienced some very severe hurricanes in the Gulf Coast region. Uh, there were a number of major bridges that were completely destroyed as a result of this rising water level and the associated waves. The Florida DOT and the University of Florida saw the need to investigate this and to come up with better predictive equations for the loads that are exerted on the bridge spans by the waves. We started a measurement program in, our, in a wave tank in the coastal lab at the University of Florida where we were looking at model bridge spans and the wave loading on those spans. And at the same time, we initiated a more theoretical approach to the problem where we develop predictive equations and we use the data from the lab experiments to refine the predictive equations. Those equations have now been adopted by ASHTO in a code that will be used for all new bridges in the country and for retrofitting existing bridges. Knowing the loads, then you can determine what additional supports you have to put on these bridges in order to make them safe under those conditions.